Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the A43, the Tier 6 Russian medium tank. Uh, this is a tank I actually really, really like. In fact, uh, A43 has probably been one of the most positive experiences I've had on the Russian medium line so far. It's a great tank, but it's also one of my cursed tanks because I have been trying to get an Ace Tanker in this tank for so long. I do close to a thousand average damage per game in this tank. I have lost count of the number of top guns, five kill games, 2k damage plus games I have played in this tank and I have never been able to get the ace tanker. Uh, however, uh, on a recent stream I played a game and once again after heartbreak, five kills doing 2.3k damage. It still wasn't an ace tanker but it must have been pretty close. and. Uh, I, once again, I ended the game and I said, I'm oh, going to have to leave the ace tanker for another day. I don't know what I have to do to get an ace tanker in this tank. And uh, then I said, oh, what the heck. And I pressed play again to play a second game in the A43. And I ended up here on Fisherman's Bay. It's a 63 percenter, so I need to be quite aggressive. But it's an all tier 6 game, so it's quite a favorable matchup. Here we go. So being on Fisherman's Bay and being in a fast medium tank with a really, really punchy gun. In fact, the only thing I don't like about the A43 is the lack of gun depression. But it doesn't bother me that much. But uh, I decide to head up to the E-line up towards the village. Because you definitely have to have some light tanks or mediums up here. And quite a lot of our team are heading over to the 1-2 lines. We're not sending too many tanks into the uh, town. So, uh, first spots are off, and uh, I'm not sure who spotted the PZ-34, but uh, I'm just hanging here. So, Kiho has been spotted, and there's that lack of gun depression. I miss a shot on the M5A1. Kiho's just giving me a front of his tank to shoot at, or the rear of his tank, so I get two shots in. He pulls back. I've been spotted, so I reverse behind the house for rat cover. So trying to get more spots, and the Kiho's back. And there's that gun depression. So I get a shot into the Hetzer, I'm trying to track him. Get two shots in, and get a third shot in. So uh, I must have successfully tracked him. But there's the first kill of the game. So I'm poking the corner to try and get shots on the keyhole, but he's behind cover. And I get spotted. Unfortunately, the uh, T-49 puts a shot into me. Artie misses, but thankfully T-49 bounces. Artie's still going for me, so there are two Artie in this game. Get a shot on the T-49. Another shot in. Artie's still missing. Finish off the T-49 and advance into cover behind the building to stay arty safe. So, uh, kill number two. And the Kiho has advanced in the field behind me. I've just been spotted again. I haven't noticed the Kiho behind me. Now I have. Pre-aim, but uh, unfortunately miss. Twitch my shot and miss again. Ooh, this guy is so lucky. Go for one more shot, get shot from a Churchill from behind. He tracks me, put my tracks back in, but he's put two good shots into me. So someone else takes out the keyhole, but now there's an M5A1. And uh, I've got a Churchill 3 behind me, I've got a Churchill uh, 7 in front of me. And we're losing 5-6, so there's a KV-1S in the distance. K-1 
Can't see the tank outline, but I don't have much to shoot at. And the gun is letting me down. So, Artie's just gone for a blind shot. Churchill's advancing. So, uh, I decide not to sit there. I've got to move. Churchill bounces. I was slightly angled. He tracks me. Unfortunately, I've used my repair kit. And I'm not feeling good. But uh, thankfully, the Churchill bounces again. Okay, finally my tracks are back in, and I uh, got quite lucky there. So, uh, kill number three, we're up to 1,251 damage. Churchill three has advanced. We've lost the other flank. And our Arl takes out the Churchill three. So, two KV-1Ss and a Type 58 that we're aware of. And then the Nashorn appears, get a shot into the Nashorn, need to pull back into cover. Shot on the move, into cover. I want to try and stay moving so that RT can't get a bead on me. And RT misses, KV-1 takes out the uh, Nashorn. But there's another Nashorn, they're breeding like rabbits. Can't get a shot, just been spotted, miss my shot. And he takes, uh, he's taken out. So Type 58 is now shooting at me. I've lost all my health. I'm on 59 health. So I push up, see if I can get some spots. But nothing. So every tank has been spotted now except a Churchill 3 and 2 RT. So uh, actually I'm being quite aggressive here. I don't remember doing this. That Churchill 3, if he was camping in the corner, could easily have taken me out. But uh, I find both RT. We're being capped. And there's this poor gun depression. So I'm staying on the move, take out the bishop, now the FV-304 has come into play, and he's missed his shot. I track him, but no damage, and now I just stay behind him. He may be fast, but the A-43 is a really, really fast tank too. Okay, there we go. Finally get him. I had forgotten I got quite lucky in a few places in this game. It's amazing how the blind mind uh, plays tricks on you. It's only now, looking back on the replay, I see that I've made a lot of mistakes so far. So we're, we're being capped, KV-3. He's on low health, put a shot into his rear for uh, kill number six. And uh, no sign of that Churchill. This Churchill three has not been spotted. I'm on 59 health, 2,100 damage and six kills. So I'm having a quick look around the one, two lines in case he's around here. And I'm being a little bit cautious, perhaps for the first time in this game. And enemy team have just told us he's AFK, so, uh, alright, I figure, oh, what the hell, I'll risk it. Now, I don't know how many times I've been told in game tanks are AFK, only to find they're not. But, uh, they're saying he's in B1. And I've spotted him, and I'm expecting return fire. I've just been spotted. I'm keeping an eye on his turret, and his turret doesn't seem to be moving. So he's not an Autobot. Got to get this gun down. Poor gun depression. So we're finally, finally up here. One more shot should do it, and there we go. Kill number seven for 2,346. 
So, I finally got an ace tanker in the A43. As I say, I don't know how many high kill games I played and how many 2k damage plus games I played in that tank. It's a great little tank, but an ace was way overdue. I don't know why it took me so long to get one. But uh, I also picked up high caliber and top gun. I did make a few mistakes in the game that I didn't realize I'd made at the time, but I got away with them, and uh, earned 1542 base XP, 2391 damage with 7 kills. I fired 44 shots, 28 hits, 26 penetrations, good amount of damage. I received 9 hits, which usually will kill an A43 because it doesn't have very good armor, so I did get quite lucky. I spotted 4. Damage 9, destroyed 7, and I think this is what may have gotten the ace tanker for me, because uh, I've done this damage in games before in the A43, but I also managed to do 1693 assistance damage, either spotting damage or uh, track damage, and uh, that must be what carried me over into the ace tanker, because as I say, I've had plenty of games that have done this amount of damage and got close to that number of kills. I earned 42,000 credits for that game, and with a premium account, it wasn't my first game of the day. As I said, I came pretty close to the ace tanker on my first game, decided to play the tank again. Earned 2013 XP with a premium account, and so uh, not quite as good as I thought it was. <laughs> it was exciting at the time, but I did make a couple of mistakes I didn't realize I'd made at the, uh, while actually playing this game. Uh, but sometimes you see those mistakes when you uh, do end up watching your replays. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.